Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Cinebench R15, running on the 8th generation Core i3-8130U and Core i5-8250U chips. Um, so these are chips with the same max turbo speed. Uh, there is a higher base clock on the Core i3 because it is a 2-core chip, and a higher... Um, core count on the Core i5 with a quad core. Uh, this is the first generation where because the i5s have gone to a quad core chip even at 15 watts we now get turbo mode on the Core i3s. This means the base clock has gone down from the previous generation but the general clock speed it will run at is normally higher. Um, what we see here though is that the Core i5 has a um, about a 75-76% performance improvement on the multi-threaded test. We're running this at two times speed but we can see it finished a lot quicker than the Core i3 here. Um, but in a moment when we look at the single threaded test, uh, the Core i3 because it has the same turbo speed and they both just pretty much peg out the whole time at um, 3.4 gigahertz or 3.3 to 3.4. Uh, the i3 actually very slightly outpaces it on um, single threaded performance, but they are within such a small, you know, it's two points difference, I think. So you say that's kind of margin of error. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful for sort of seeing the difference so the i5 should have a fairly big advantage in multi-threaded workloads. The i3 will keep pace with it in single-threaded workloads, however. So I hope you found this useful. Um, do let me know in the comments what you think of this if you'd like to see us doing more of the same kind of videos. And hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from us in the future. Thanks for watching.